Uh, Penn State is known for, for going long and, and trying to hit teams uh, deep. How are you looking forward to dealing with that? I'm just playing our football like we've been doing all year. Um, don't change anything that we've done. It's been success, so that's what we're going to just continue to do is just play our football and play our game. Is there anything you're seeing from, from Penn State's off offense that intrigues you? Um, they're, they're an explosive team, like you said. Like somebody commented, they're one of the top explosive teams in the, in the nation. So having that opportunity, you have to understand, you have to minimize that as much as possible. And that's what we choose to do. That's what we're going to do when that time comes. See from them that it's causing them a big place? Uh, more so just uh, broken down coverages. More so they do a lot of double moves. And you, 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 if your eyes ain't right, then you can get caught in uh, the trickery of their offense and stuff like that. So that's what I've seen from watching film and whatnot. How do you think you progressed the most this year? Uh, I feel like I progressed. You know, I started off rocky at the beginning of the year, and you know, I slowly uh, started to get my feet wet, and you know, just continuous growth at the end of the day. Is there something you feel like you're, you're doing better now, like an area? You know, I f it's just a natural growth. I feel like um, with any and everybody, certain people grow faster than others. Mine just took more steady of a time. So that's all I did at this moment, just took that natural growth and a natural step. If Adori does leave after this year, he'll be one of the, the top returners and corners. Yeah. Probably going on the guy's best receiver. How yeah. do you think he would do in that role? I feel like I do well. You know, me and I have been having the opportunity to learn from dudes like Adore Jackson, throw a world winner. So just seeing how he, how he can composed and controlled itself through, through this whole process, I feel like I'll I take, uh, take the torch really well. Just kind of your reaction when you first heard Rose Bowl and what it means to be a player. I'm the granddaddy of them all. You know, a lot of times we don't, we, we see this growing up. You've seen the Reggie Bush, the Matt Lyon, you've seen the Joe McKnight, rest in peace Joe McKnight. You see those dudes have an opportunity to plan it. You, and it's right down the street, you always saw like, man, I, one day I want to play in this. So having the opportunity to do it this year and my sophomore year, I'm, I'm thankful and, and blessed. Uh, blessed God. Absolutely. How, how different is this team from other teams you play with? You guys play with such joy and enthusiasm. Yeah. Um, to be honest with you, it reminds me of you know, like my sophomore year in high school. We had the same rock, rocky start. We started off same record. And then we all brought it together and sat down and talked to each other and feel like, this is our team and we need to take responsibility for it and that's what we did and you see the success that it came uh, following. When you kind of went through that rocky start, did you ever think it could be a 10-win season and be at the Rose Bowl at this point? All we were doing is just taking it game by game. Um, you know, we didn't want to look too far ahead of our, ourselves. We just wanted to approach each game like it was our last and as you've seen, it's, it's been success for us for the um, last eight weeks.